we chose Home Assistant as it is one of the best solutions for your smart home. This allows our smart home in London, England to be managed by our mobile phone. You may want to monitor your home solar system from Proxmox. We get to monitor the output voltage of our solar panels, the output voltage of our inverter, as well as the storage capacity of our battery bank. We are going to install Home Assistant in Proxmox using a Docker Compose file. Home Assistant is an open source and trusted solution. Our Docker Compose file is designed to simplify the installation. Nico will demonstrate how to do the installation. Now, without further ado, let me introduce you to Nico. Please note that Nico has a charming Dodecanese European accent, but fear not, he speaks the Queen's English fluently. If you leave a comment and ask him, he can also speak a wee bit of Scottish. OK, Nico, the ball is yours. Thank you, Alice. Hi there, guys. As Alice mentioned, we are going to be installing Home Assistant in our Proxmox server. Let's have a look at the dashboard. Here is the dashboard. You can see it monitors the status of a smart fridge. It can also monitor lamps, the status of certain lamps in your house. And you can monitor the temperature. And this is ideal also for monitoring the voltage coming out of your solar panels during the daytime and the voltage coming out of your inverter. And it can tell you what charging capacity you got in your batteries. So this is very useful to use in your smart home. We have provided instructions on how to do the installation for a link to this blog page. Please have a look down below. And now let's get our hands dirty. We have installed a Alex C container in our Proxmox server. We'll provide a link down below to show you how to do that. And we have installed Docker in there as well. What you need to do is you need to open this in the console. Inside our OPT folder, we have a stacks folder where we keep all our Docker stacks. And in there, we need to create a folder so that we can create our Docker Compose file and store it there. You can type dash P and then we need to go to that folder. Now we need to create a Compose file for Docker. We will use Nano. So this is the file we are going to create, compose.yml. And in there we are going to take the Docker Compose file we provided. That's this content here. Copy it. What makes our Compose file unique is that we have decided that a local file in the folder where the Compose file is will be auto-generated when we start. And in there we are going to store the config folder. So th that is one of the changes that we made to this. Having done that, you then say Control S to save, Control X to exit. And now we want to start this in the detached mode. So the command is docker compose up with a dash D. And now we can open this in the browser. In the Docker container, it will create a web page with the URL localhost 8123. However, for our LXC container, we have created this URL, so it will be port 8123. So if I open it there, and now we go ahead and we do this and give it a name. I'm going to use a username of admin and my own password. And confirm it. And now we need to give it a location. So we are in London.
We'll save this. That's fine. And we can have analysis and diagnostics. This depends on you. And now we have successfully installed Home Assistant. We have provided the link here to show you how to customize this. If you click on this link here, it will go through the process we did, but in a lot more details. You really need to read this document and go through this for your own home lab to pick up your devices and set it up according to your requirements. However, for us, this was good enough. It showed how easy it is to install and to get this to work in our Docker container sitting inside our LXC container inside Proxmox. We trust you found this useful. Please give us a like. Please subscribe to our channel as we haven't reached our target yet. And with that, I hand you back to Alice. We thank you for watching this video. We chose Home Assistant as it is one of the best solutions for your smart home. This allows our smart home in London, England to be managed by our mobile phone. You may want to monitor your home solar system from Proxmox. We got to monitor the output voltage of our solar panels, the output voltage of our inverter, as well as the storage capacity of our battery bank. We got to install Home Assistant in Proxmox using a Docker Compose file. Home Assistant is an open source and trusted solution. Our Docker Compose file is designed to simplify the installation. Today, Nico demonstrated how to do the installation. If you have not given us a like, please do so. Please let us know why are you watching our videos. Please subscribe to our channel so we can reach our target. Your support is crucial for our channel's growth. Stay curious and continue exploring and harnessing Proxmox's remarkable potential in your home lab and DevOps journey. Thank you for being part of our community.